course. Hi, everybody. We are with Carissa Feenstra. You're going to have some Feenstra uh, sleep consulting. I am Nathan Chan from Proud Fertility. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Okay, we're going to get right to it because there are a lot of new parents who just need sleep. Whether you are a single mom, single dad, or a couple, do you yes. have a lot of uh, problem, uh, clients that come to you say that you know they just can't handle this lack yes. of sleep? Yes, usually they're at their wits end and they need sleep now. It's a huge thing for, mm -hmm. for parents and we don't really think about it too often. Sleep consultant, a lot of people haven't heard of them before. I actually used one with my daughter and it was the most amazing thing ever to have my sleep back before I had to go back to work full time. So mm -hmm. it's definitely a big important part of life, that's for sure. And we talk so much about how to take care of the baby when it's inside the mm -hmm. womb, whether it's from the mother or father's perspective. So when it comes to when the baby's coming out, you talk about all these different things and sleep is really important. Mm -hmm. So you said something a little bit about um, like at the wit's end. Like we should talk about how this can be something that you can do with a proactive measure. Yes, uh, we can actually, I have prenatal and uh, postpartum packages for moms so we can teach a child the proper sleep habits okay. right off the bat and get them, like, get them going with the, the right Without stating the obvious, why is sleep so important actually? It's huge for developmental, uh, for milestones, for postpartum moms. Um, a lot of people don't think of moms after birth, it's all to do with baby. Uh -huh. And they don't realize that without sleep, postpartum depression can be worse. And then the cycle. All that. Yeah, okay. and it's just a vicious cycle. And when baby's not sleeping, nobody's sleeping. Okay, so walk me through what is a sleep consultant and what is a certified sleep consultant? Because I love to sleep. Could I be a sleeping consultant? So, or like, what kind of training do you have to do? or? What you, is a sleep consultant, really? There, there is a few different ways to become certified. Um, I actually did it through Sleep Sense. Uh, D Dana Obelman, a lot of she's a very recognized mm -hmm. um, mentor. She's amazing. Uh, there's definitely there's I believe the Family Sleep Institute. There's many different, there's different sleeping yeah, training. Yeah, programs. and you can pair it up with being a lactation consultant or very complimentative. Yeah, yes, okay. for sure. So in a, in your sleep consulting work. What do you do? Like, can you walk me through? If I'm one of your clients, I'm a desperate at my wit's end or a proactive um, parent, what do I get from you? So, usually I do a call first because I like to make sure that this is something that is right for a family. I'd rather them not waste money and time if it's something that's not going to be a right fit for their family. Uh, so, I usually do about a 15 minute call, make sure it's something they'd like. And if they like it and they agree to it, we do a uh, Per, per, uh, sorry, uh, evaluation where they fill out a questionnaire about the child's sleep mm -hmm. habits and then I actually meet up with them and I write out a customized sleep plan for their child. Customized sleep Custom, plan? Yes, That's good. customized. It's right for their child for any issues that they might be having with sleep and then I am there 100% either phone, email, or other, other ways that we can do it as well. Um, so basically you help your clients get yeah. sleep and you lose sleep yourself. Yeah, basically. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Just call I'm, Carissa. I'm there for Carissa, you. Right away there. Yeah. Exactly. So you know what? So what do you tell our viewers if, if they don't, like, do you have any tips for us in general as a sleeping um, consultant? Definitely a big thing is parents figure if they put their child to bed later, they'll sleep in later in the morning. That is usually not the case. You want to put your child to bed earlier okay, and we'll they're going to sleep better. Okay. Um, also, a good bedtime, solid bedtime routine, something that you do the same every night, whether that be a bath and then a song and a book, okay. and then you put your child to bed. Um, what about like the same person that puts the person in bed? I recommend different people. Different people? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, you're going to be stuck with not being able to leave your child at the babysitter. Okay. Put them to so bed. The one time acceptable when... Yeah. Can... I like when mom and dad both take turns doing it. And okay. usually when I do a sleep plan, it's going to be mom and dad both helping. And if grandma can be there, it doesn't really matter. I, I definitely like to switch it up so baby doesn't get used to just one person and, okay. and you get stuck. So are there different uh, bodies or associations where people can look up sleeping consultants? You're in Grand Prairie. Hello, Grand Prairie <laughs> in Alberta. Um, but... I'm actually located in Fort St. John, um, oh, but okay. many sleep consultants can work anywhere. It can be over phone. Uh, it can be in person. Like I do, you do consulting Dawn. even yeah. for people in America. Yeah, guys, yeah, anywhere. United it doesn't States doesn't matter a. where it is. That's actually okay. where I did my training was in the states. Okay, awesome. Um, so yeah, it can be it can be anywhere. It's just 
So do you, like, I have sleeping issues myself, which has nothing to do with baby sleeping thing. Like, do you just hook these babies up with CPAP machines? Do you use equipment? No, um, there's I've usually... I've seen a baby with CPAP machines before. Yeah, I, um, I swear. There's usually, I, I always encourage parents to talk to a doctor before considering sleep training, just in case there is something that could be bothering them or a health mm -hmm. issue. And once they get the go-ahead, um, it's all basically no equipment at all sometimes a sound machine but okay. there's no rocking in a rocking chair no baby swing it's just full on the crib in the room and have okay. babies sleep on their own and okay cool yeah not um much. how do you what, what what am i what do i look for in a sleeping consultant whether it's with you or with somebody else because there's many different trained probably staff. somebody that has been trained with certain sleep issues and uh Somebody that's comfortable with children, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, are they are they the same kind of sleeping consultants for children or adults, or are they different? Um, kind of... I'm not entirely 100 percent sure mm -hmm. on that one. Uh, like I've only done the the infant and child okay. training. I am planning on doing adult here soon, very soon, which will be okay. very exciting. Uh, but mm. yeah, well, that's great. Um, well, if you are interested in sleep consulting, please check out. Your website, yes, uh, which is it is cfsleepconsulting.net. Awesome, and you can also get me at Chris of Feenstra Sleep Consulting on Facebook as well. Well, we hope that we will help fulfill a little bit of your uh, sleeping yes. necessities. Thank you very much. I hope Thank you have you. a nice, great snooze. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Take care. Ah, peace out.